Hi everyone, this is a reading with me. We are going to have a look and see what is coming through for you. So this is for all star signs. If you are here, hello and welcome. I feel like it is a sign that there are messages for you. And I also wanted to mention as well that if you wanted to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. Um, so everything's there on how to enter. Also, if you wanted to purchase any personal services with me, they are on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com, services for black magic energy removal, protection ritual, um, tarot readings, and also there's rituals for love, money, success, marriage, business, home, protection, etc. Um, and everything's always uh, listed down below. There's also the intention items on my website as well which are handmade meditated with and saged items like bracelets necklaces uh, sage bundles candles teas and so much more so it's all on there and everything has the reviews the section is at the bottom of my website as well for the thousands of five star reviews so check it out if you're interested and let's begin with your reading okay whoa Well, let's put it this way, okay? Oh, turning point. We go from the um, Ten of Swords to the Ace of Swords, which shows the closing of one cycle to open up a new cycle. This new cycle is much more fruitful. It is much more fulfilling. It is much better for you. This also shows a lot of success. It also shows a lot of progress in your life as well. The Ten of Swords is you feeling frustrated, especially with events in the past that have unfolded for you where you have been, you may have been traumatized. I'm so sorry, you know, I'm so sorry that you had to kind of go through that. You may have gone through a lot of grief and loss in your life, a lot of sadness, frustration, and uncertainty. So, you know, out of that, whichever bits resonate with you, it's been painful. It has. And I just feel here that you want to feel victorious again. You want to feel strong. You want to feel like you can not just be the victim, but be the victor. You know, you can create something and be something out of this pain and sadness and dark, deep moments that you have been surrounded by and been engulfed by to such a degree and what's really beautiful with the ace of swords is that there is power okay which means that you will get yourself out from this ten of swords and you will be able to create that new chapter in your life that new that new new cycle and you would be able to do it confidently with a lot of victory okay there is a major turning point that is coming for you there is major victory that is happening so let's go through it and let's see how what when who why We'll ask all the questions, okay? <laughs> I think I covered all of them. How, what, why, when, who, how, where, what, what, okay, yeah. All right, so we've got Three of Swords is all this sort of pain and frustration. For some of you, it's been in regards to, um, so it's been in regards to a loss, okay? You could have lost a relationship or a person in your life. You could have lost money in your life, a job in your life, or just mentally lost yourself um and so you've lost something and what i see here is that what you have lost to a degree will be regained now if you've actually physically lost a person in your life i'm so sorry to hear that i really am that's not something that can be let's say replaced right it's not necessarily possible to bring the person back however you will find that another beautiful event will happen that will be able to make it better for you to cope with the loss. Now, what I mean by that is it doesn't make it easier to cope with that loss, but it means that you have that support in your life. Okay. So for example, I'm just going to give you an example. If you lost, um, like physically, when I say loss, I mean like death. If you've lost, um, you know, someone really special in your life, there's a sense here of someone else coming into your life to give you, you know, happiness that it just makes you feel better in life, right? So if you've lost, I don't know, um, a parent, you may find that there's a, a special person that comes into your life and really loves you and loves you for who you are and loves you unconditionally. And sure, it doesn't make up for the loss that you lost, but it brings you happiness. It brings you joy. It brings you fulfillment. It allows you to feel more healed within yourself. So that's what I'm saying in, in regards to like, you know, the aspect of death. But what I am saying and seeing specifically in regards to like losing a job, for example, obviously, that is a form of like it being gone, but 
you will get something better, okay? And that's what I'm seeing here. Better opportunities are going to come your way, especially when it comes to, you know, money, especially when it comes to job, especially when it comes to relationships. Some of you have, you know, had bad breakups. Um, some of you have had really bad situations here with bosses and things like that. You will have better is what I'm seeing in those particular aspects, okay? You will have things that come into place that gives you more peace, that gives you more balance. Things will get resolved. If you've got court situations going on and you've got law and lawyer situations going on, those things here I do see will be resolved. So that's justice here and a lot more peace will be restored into your life, which is another thing that I am picking up on because your chariot, which also is all about balance. This is also about emotionally feeling fulfilled, emotionally feeling happier. I definitely feel like you will get to a place and a point in your life where you will feel so much more healed, so much more relaxed, so much happier. That is something we see here with the chariot because we also see balance here with the two of pentacles as well. There is just so much more of a healing, beautiful energy where you feel stronger, happier, more fulfilled, just more excited within yourself and just so much more so much more better within yourself as well from what I'm picking up on. So whatever this loss is that you've gone through in your life, things will get better, okay? You're at that turning point where you just don't want to constantly talk about this thing. You don't want to constantly feel it. You don't constantly want to be engulfed by it and let it define the rest of your life. You want, you want to move forward from it, but you know, by learning from it and growing from it and healing from it. And that's what I see is that, you know, obviously stay on the path towards healing. You don't want to just like suppress everything and be like, oh yeah, it happened, whatever. I'm just going to go live life because, you know, at some point it will come back to the surface. But what I do see is that you will feel stronger. You will feel more motivated. You will feel, um, you will feel better in time and things will get better for you, which is something that I am seeing. So that's really what I'm picking up on here is that you will feel stronger. So stay on the path, um, that you're on in regards to healing and the nine of wands here really does show that you're a very thoughtful person and that you will have a lot of victory i also see that it's approximately okay in 10 weeks i see a breakthrough okay 10 weeks from when you're watching this reading not from when it's posted from whenever you're personally watching this reading 10 weeks from this point, you will feel like there is this breakthrough. Okay, it's just slightly over two months, but you will start to feel happier. You will start to feel more uplifted. You will start to feel stronger. You will start to feel like, you know what, I've got this and this is not everything my life is. And you will start to feel really refreshed. You'll be able to go and do fun things that you enjoy doing. You will feel so much better in the things that you do because you will just realize that, you know what, this is where I am. I can't control everything, but I can control me and I can control what I take into my hands and I can control what I allow it to do to me in terms of triggers. Because if you feel triggered, it means healing is necessary. And so if you feel like you just can't stop getting triggered by things from your past, there's a lot of tools, of course. There's therapists, they are brilliant. There's also shadow work. Shadow work is really, really powerful for triggers, for trauma, for healing your inner child, for healing past pain, sad, uh, sadness, heartbreak, and grief. And so I also offer shadow work healing as well, if anyone wanted to do that with me. But there are so many incredible uh, people and so many resources that can help you in regards to that aspect, because getting triggered means healing is necessary. And healing comes from within you. And essentially, you know, even working on your shadow, it is something that a lot of, you know, spiritualists can also help with as well. Um, because that heals your unconscious shadow, which then in reality starts to make things better for you as well. Okay, so it's a major turning point where I feel like you will just be sick and tired of this and you just don't want to be here anymore, you know, in this, not, not on the planet. I'm talking like you don't want to be in this place anymore. You want to be in the place that gives you power and confidence and motivation, okay? And there's just a major turning point where you think to yourself, I don't want to be sad anymore. I don't want to be the victim anymore. I want to be the victor. I want to feel good. I want to create this new chapter, this brand new beginning. Fool is the first card in tarot and there's a major turning point and here I am. I've tried to prepare you for it because it's coming. So this is your reading. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway and intention items. And I will see you all very soon. And also, um, everything is also linked down below as well in regards to... Um, 
TikTok and Instagram, I post short readings on there every day, so feel free to check that out if you haven't already, and I will see you all very, very soon. All right, take care, everyone, and yeah, I'll see you all very soon. Bye!